For the past 40 days, I only ate meat and butter, and the result was insane. And bro, I sound like a fucking YouTuber, man. This is, this is getting too much, bro. I've been on my fair share of diets since starting out as a really skinny guy trying to bulk up and gain as much weight and muscle as possible. But this was different. Was this even safe? Could I get in all my calories I needed? Could I build muscle? Could I even sustain muscle on this diet? And what would I look like by the end? My name is Johnny and today my goal is to share with you my experience of being a carnivore for 40 days to help you decide what you want to do and if you want to partake in this new way of life. Growing up as a kid, I've always been really addicted to fucking sugar and, and, and candies, sweets, cookies, ice cream, all that. I was all about the fucking sugar, man. And when I first started weightlifting, I went like full fucking health, Instagram influencer, fitness guy. My meals were just copy and paste of whatever I saw on Instagram that day. I was eating the typical like chicken, rice, broccoli, which is fucking a great meal. Let, let's, let's be honest here, man. Us guys in the gym, bro, this is our fucking go-to, man. But I was eating all these like fucking really healthy meals and I completely gave up sugar and fast food and junk food for about an eight month period when I first started weightlifting and you know, just weightlifting with a couple dumbbells in my room, you know, first learning about the gym and all that. This was a few years ago, right? During when the lockdown first started. And one interesting thing that after that eight month period where I had my first chocolate bar back after that, a bar that I used to be able to just eat like it was fucking nothing and you know, go around and fucking, you know, chase a buddy of mine after. I would eat that same type of bar and I would eat the whole thing and I would just feel sick to my stomach. And that was probably one of my first moments when it really hit me just how unhealthy that I was and how unhealthy the average person is, their diet. Even though back then I had no idea what I know now. What got me into the carnivore diet for 40 days is I always wanted to try it because of Jordan Peterson, guys like Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan. I always wanted to do it for discipline to test out the health benefits, see if it worked for me. And then when Lent came around for this year, which if you don't know, it's like a kind of like Christian or Catholic or whatever holiday where for 40 days you're supposed to give up something or I don't know. I don't even know if people really do it, man, to be honest. I don't even know if people take it that seriously, but what I, I learned about it and I was like, bro, this is what I fucking want to do, man. It gave me a fucking goal. It gave me some motivation. So I made my goal for these 40 days to give up everything except meat and butter and peas also initially, but I'll get into that. Straight 40 days. For the first few days, I also ate peas. And I counted that even though I technically wasn't carnivore because carnivore is everything that's like animal product. So technically you can eat eggs and cheese and, and dairy, milk, all that stuff, right? But I chose to have peas just because I thought, oh, you know, if I don't, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm not gonna get enough nutrients. I'm gonna pass out in the middle of the day and fucking bang my head on a fucking counter or something. So after the first few days of trying the carnivore diet and being on the r slash carnivore subreddit i found out that i really i didn't really need to do that like i was reading stuff about people doing this for fucking years so after the first few days i just gave up peas and i just became strictly meat and butter and then eggs because you know fucking if you don't think eggs are meat then fuck you and then after i gave up peas that was my life i was that guy i was eating fuck i ordered through this online like farm kind of straight from the farm type of deal I was getting fucking order. I was ordering like these steaks. I was ordering these like roasts. It's some good stuff, man. And real quickly, I'll just tell you what my diet was towards the end of it. What I decided to stick to eating after, you know, trial and error. By the end of it, my daily meals looked like this. I'd have eight eggs for breakfast. For lunch, I'd have, I'd reheat either chicken or ground bison that I cooked the night before or whatever I cooked the night before. Then for dinner, I'd cook either, you know, like I said, ground bison or chicken or bacon. And then after dinner, I'll cook one of those meats that I mentioned, or I'll just reheat something up real quick. Eggs, chicken breast, ground bison, and bacon. And me just telling you this, me just saying, oh yeah, I ate meat for 40 days, and I was every fucking day. Like, I'm going to school, man. I'm my buddies are fucking offering me like, oh shit, bro, you gotta try these onion rings, they're sick. And I'm just like, bro, I can't. I'm explaining it to people, that people giving me, talking to me like I'm fucking, I'm a fucking retard or like, there's something fucking wrong with me. Like, like there are some really tough moments, man. Like when my like little sisters come home after they like bought something from the store and they're like, sure, like, oh, here you go. We want to try this. And, like some, some like fucking Cinnabons or some, some gummies or something. I just have to tell them no. There was also one day where I just opened my fridge and I saw an apple in the fucking like container there. And I'm just looking at this apple. It was like, fuck, I can't. I'm, I'm like, I'm going fucking nuts, man. I'm losing my mind just staring at this damn apple. I was, bro, I was losing my mind. I'm hearing voices. I'm like, bro, I'm fucking yelling. Who's going to carry the boats while I'm chucking bison? You know, it, it got intense at moments, bro. But it was worth it, man. Because on day, on day 26, it was. I had an upper body session in my home gym. 
And then I did some, I decided to do some posing, you know, I got my camera out and I started filming. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. And after I watched the video, I sat down on my bench and I was watching the video and I'm like, holy shit, bro. I was actually in a, like a bit of shock. I was just like, holy shit, bro. Like, ooh. What I was looking at was my peak physique. This was my, the best my physique has ever looked. And it was because of water retention, water weight. When you're not eating carbs, when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're not eating carbs, you're not holding any water, or at least you're not holding any extra water than you have to, right? Per gram of carb you eat, you retain three grams of water. And that goes on top of your muscles and that, and that you know, goes over your fucking, it's like, it's almost like an extra layer of fat, right? You, where it covers the muscle, right? You don't see your abs as well. You don't see the striations. But I was looking at myself and I was like, holy shit, man. My abs were just popping out, bro. Like, it was a fucking sick feeling, man, to just see the progress that I made, man. And then just a couple of days ago, right? Right before I ended it, right before the 40th day, I was posing again. I was posing in my mirror and I saw that I had fucking veins on my lower abs, like on my lower torso, which was insane, which I've never seen on myself before, which is actually insane because I'm at a pretty high body fat. I didn't lose too much fat around my abs. So I still had a layer of fat, which, which you can still see in the in uh, videos or photos, but I could still see veins just faintly popping out, but they were still there and that was just insane to me. And then yesterday, the 40th fucking day, I actually tried liver for the first time, which I should, probably should have tried before, but I tried liver. I just gotta fucking say this before, just for anyone who's thinking about doing this. It didn't taste terrible, but it didn't taste good. It was like it's in its own gray area of flavor. It was fucking weird, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't fucking like it, man. I'm gonna be honest. And it, I really wanted to like it, man. Because one of those fucking foods where you're just like, yeah. Like fucking testosterone and liver king and fucking Joe Rogan and shit. Like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it, man. Ah, I feel fuck. I feel bad, man. I feel I feel ashamed. But before we get into the positive effects and the negative effects that I've noticed, and my tips for you if you're gonna try this, I just want to say real quick that every person that I told that I talked to that oh I'm oh I'm on a carnivore diet, I'm only eating meat and butter, I would get the same. Not every person, but most people give me the same fucking lecture now. Oh, that sounds so unhealthy. You know, you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna pass out. You're not gonna get enough nutrients. You're gonna be deficient. You know, you're gonna lose chromosomes and all. All the, all, the whole fucking lecture on this shit. And I'm looking at these people, and I'm just like, don't worry about me, man. You're going home to eat fucking wheat and bread and and pasta and food cooked in vegetable oil. You're out doing the Starbucks, man. Like, don't worry about me, man. I'm fine eating my meat and my bison. But it was just fucking weird, man. If I told people I was going vegan or if I was vegan, I would have not gotten the same reaction. The food companies have, have fucked us over about our perception of food. That we think somehow only eating meat is worse than the average American diet. Full of fucking bread and, and fast food and sugars and glucose and all this bullshit. This fake foods that, that your fucking great grandmother wouldn't even recognize as food. Like that's okay, but oh, eating meat, that oh, that's, that's dangerous. That's uh, your uh, the misinformation and like you're, you're uh, conservative, uh, the far right, alt right. Fuck, like. Honestly, bro, it's, it's fucking, it's propaganda if you ask me, man. But what were the positive effects that I noticed and that I experienced? One thing I noticed is that my ego grew massively. I started, which I don't know if you would call that a positive benefit, but I just started to feel like I was better than people. I, I, I know that sounds horrible, but in the sense that I just started to feel like, yeah, man, I'm better than all this shit, man. I don't need all this junk food, all this sugar, glucose bullshit. Like I'm seeing dudes, guys who are like, oh yeah, I'm so disciplined, man. I'm going to the gym, yet they're eating fucking chocolate bars in there. Like I'm walking around in the hallways of my school. I'm like, most of these guys wouldn't even last a week. All, honestly, probably a lot of them wouldn't last a few days eating only meat. They couldn't do it. Realistically, how many people do you know that could last 40 days only eating meat and butter? How many, how many of your friends? Probably not too many, man. If, if you do, if every single one of your, your buddies is like some hard, disciplined, fucking Jocko Will kind of guy, honestly, fair enough to you. Fair enough to you. That's sick, man, that you got some buddies like that. But the majority of guys don't, aren't surrounded by people like that, unfortunately. I don't know if that's a positive benefit, though, but I definitely think you can use it to your benefit, though, having a big ego or at least having an ego that you earn. Like, I've, I, like I earn that ego in that sense. Obviously... Obviously, that doesn't give me the right to just be a dick and an asshole to people, but but I earned it in the sense that yeah, I can have this, I can have this walk of con, I can, I can have this confidence about myself, and I can have this this standard for myself. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm better than this shit, man. 
I don't, I'm not saying this pussy ass girl, but I'm saying a bigger girl. I'm, go, I'm going all out for this shit, man. Why would I, why would I settle for this, some average fucking bullet? Nah, man, I'm going for the, I'm going for the top, bro. I'm going for it all. You know, which is, oh, which is, oh, it's arrogant to say, and it's toxic masculinity, but, you know, go fucking drink Starbucks, man. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Positive effect number two, my water retention just fucking plummeted, man. I was just not holding water like I once did, man. And like I said, the abs were popping my face. My face, people have been telling me that my face started to look more skinny and that I just had a different look about myself, which I don't know if you'd consider that a positive effect. It definitely was positive for my abs. My abs look fucking sick. At least, at least I think they look sick. It was insane progress from what I was before. Another thing I noticed is that my chin, like acne and zits and shit, it got, it got better on my chin. It, on my cheeks, it got kind of worse or it just, or like, it just started to be, it just, or it just didn't change, I guess. But I noticed my chin started to clear up a bit. And then another thing, which is, by the way, if you're eating, I'm going to talk about shit, which is a big question people have about the diet, man. I don't feel so good. So if you're eating, probably skip this part. But people were like, oh, the first few weeks, you're going to fucking just shit diarrhea every day. It's going to suck. I didn't experience that. I, oh, this is fucking weird to say, right? Talking about my shit on camera, but hey, I've, I've talked about worse, man, <laughs> on this channel. Generally just, uh, Fewer, mostly just rocks, man. I'm gonna be honest, bro. It's, it's this is disgusting to say, man. I'm, I don't want to talk about this too long. It's disgusting to say, but it wasn't it wasn't bad in that sense. It was just rare. It was just once every few days kind of thing. I didn't feel any pain or any problems or anything. It was just didn't happen as often, you know, which might be a benefit to some people. But negative effects. The main negative effect was keto flu, which if you don't know, when you go onto a no carb or a low carb diet, you you go through something called keto flu which is when your body transitions from using carbs as energy to using fats as energy and during that process you get pretty dehydrated your body basically flushes itself of water and sodium so you get really dehydrated and you just feel like shit you feel tired you don't feel good you get headaches and shit and that can last from two to four weeks for me it lasted pretty long four weeks and that was the main negative thing about it was it was just shit to get through i felt like shit i was dehydrated you know my piss was bright yellow and i I didn't even know about it until like a fucking a week in when I was, you know, on the carnivore subreddit, which helped a lot, you know, just looking up stuff. But after learning about it and reading up on it, my advice was, the advice that I took was just, you just gotta get through it. The first few weeks are gonna be pretty shit, but if you can get through that period, it all gets better from there. So, and honestly, the advice that I got, which I took was that, ignore every symptom you get in the first few weeks. Obviously, take that with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt, but you just gotta push yourself through and just drinking a lot of water and upping your sodium. Like, I poured so much salt on every one of my meals throughout the 40 days. Upping your water and upping your salt on your food. I mean, you might wanna make sure you're eating enough fats because that's where you're getting your energy from. Another negative effect is that you just miss out on life. You're missing out on those mornings when you eat, your family's eating toast and, and you're going out with your buddies to eat out food. You're that one asshole who's at McDonald's ordering fucking beef patties. It makes me feel kind of missing out on life, man. But I only really felt that when I saw other people eating or when other people brought food around me, so. But it wasn't terrible though. It was kind of fun, like, it, it's a weird thing to say, like, oh, eating meat and butter is fun, but it was kind of fun just being a part of something like that. But tips for me, what did I learn that you can use if you're considering this diet? Bison is top tier. If you want to get fucking meat, get bison, get ground bison. It tasted fucking amazing, so much better than beef, by the way. I was eating beef at the beginning, beef steaks, ground beef, and it, this fucking diet made me not like beef anymore. Which, which is crazy, man, because I used to be that guy who's just like, yeah, I'm in steaks, and I'm... But I tried bison, and it smelled hor It smells horrible when you're cooking it, ground bison, but... But when I took my first bite, it was amazing, man. The best meat I, best meat you can buy, in my opinion, that I've had. And I cooked chicken, which the best way that I found to cook it was I'd cut up chicken breast in like small pieces. I'd throw it in a pan, you know, with fucking butter on it, grass-fed butter if you can afford it. And then I'd season it with a lot of pepper, a lot of salt. But then I'd season it with smoked paprika. And then this, I don't know what it is, but the smoked paprika mixed with the butt, cooking it in the butter creates it's just a fucking amazing flavor and it the first time i tried i had it in my notes because i was taking notes you know during my my daily the carnivore log and i was doing i was like a fucking boy scout or something carlton's log earth date 1992 destination adventure don't eat the fucking pepperettes and the fucking salami and all that shit that processed meat will just tear up your stomach it'll make you just feel like shit but moving on from meat watch out for keto flu 
Like make sure you're aware like this shit is gonna suck for the first few weeks. And one lifesaver, bro, one fucking lifesaver is sparkling water. You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? Or club soda, which is just carbonated water. That will fucking save your life, man. The last two weeks of this, at least half of my meals I was eating with a club soda. It's just water with fucking bubbles in it. But club soda, it almost tricks your brain into thinking that you're drinking something good, even though you're just drinking straight water. But if you're out with friends, if you're out with buddies, you're at some sort of a party event. I was that fucking guy who's with the cup and his sparkling water at the fucking some school dance, bro. You look like a fucking dickhead, but you can blend in with some sparkling water. But, but yeah, man, that's my advice. And my final words is that as brutal and rough and depressing as some moments were, it, I, it was fun, man. It was really fun. It was fun to be like on the fucking r slash carnivore subreddit and like reading up on all this shit. And you know, you're going through your day, you're cooking your bison, man. You're trying these new spices, you guys. I felt like how I felt when I first started getting into weightlifting and bodybuilding. Back in 2020, when I was first learning, watching YouTube videos on, you know, how to gain muscle as a hard gainer. I felt like I joined something again, just like I did back then when I first got into this shit. So if you're going to try it, good luck. And don't be afraid to give up the good for the great. Peace out. Bah! Fuck Starbucks.